Hey guys, it is Miss Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for a little bit of a different video. I am expanding my horizons a bit and sharing a game that I am exceptionally excited about called Ooblets. Yes, this is a real game. Some people who saw my tweets about it and things that I posted over on the community tab honestly thought that it was like a joke, but no, this is like a real game. It is the cutest thing on the face of the planet and it was just released today. So this is an early access release on the Epic Games Store. If you guys have not uh, downloaded Epic Games or haven't played any games through the Epic Games Store, definitely check it out. It's a really cool platform. I play a couple of games on there myself and Ooblets is now one of them. So since this is early access, there may be, as they said, a bunch of bugs and unfinished things, but the game and world will change and expand over time. So what I did before I even started recording today is I did load up the game. So I purchased it, loaded it up, and just made sure that upon loading it and launching the game that there weren't any like crashes or weird bugs that would be a little bit inexplicable and it ran perfectly fine. However, I didn't get through the entire tutorial nor did I really get far at all. Like I didn't get my first ooblet, I didn't do anything. So um, we'll go ahead and just read a little bit about this game. So the developer is Glumberland. Now I am not very savvy with different developers. I do know that this is an indie developer and it was a reasonably small team that created this game. I think they've been working on it for about four years now. So it's been a long time coming and they should be so, so proud of themselves because even this early release with, you know, the whole game not being quote unquote, fully fleshed out. I was already floored by what I saw just by loading it up. So I can't wait to actually play it and really get into it. So Ooblets is a farming creature collection and town life game where you build up your farm, befriend townsfolk, grow Ooblets and have dance offs. Oh my God, you can grow them? I thought you just had to collect them. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, Ooblets has a couple of features that I wanna go ahead and list off here. You can of course read them on the screen, however, I know some of you guys just listen to videos compared to watch them. So here are some of the features. You can grow crops on your farm and sell them in town, build your team of ooblets, level them up and unlock new dance moves, style your character in a bunch of different outfits and accessories, join an ooblet club to get your first little baby ooblet, compete in dance offs to earn new ooblet seeds and win tournaments. Okay, so that's how you can grow your ooblets as they referred to earlier. Expand and decorate your house from a dinky shack to a stately farmhouse and get to know the townsfolk and befriend them if you'd like. Complete daily challenges, earn badges, and help the mayor save the town from questionable forces and unlock the secrets of Oob. Very interested to know what these secrets of Oob are. <laughs> this should be really, really neat. And there are a couple of screenshots here too, so you guys can kind of see the art style, which I think is so cute. From what I've seen in the trailer too, the animations are really smooth and soft and things are rounded. They seem pudgy and like comfortable and welcoming. And I just absolutely love the art style altogether. That's what drew me to the game in the first place. And I don't want to make comparisons to other games. You guys could probably think of some games that share features of this, I suppose, or at least a functionality and gameplay features, but I'm not going to make any kind of assimilations like that because I don't want to categorize it in any way, shape, or form, but it is categorized as a simulation game, which makes total sense. So what we will go ahead and do is we will launch up a new game and get started on Ooblets. Let's go ahead and start up a new Ooblets game. So for the sake of transparency, I did actually load up a game a little bit earlier just to make sure that everything ran correctly, that it didn't, you know, just like crash or anything like that. It is the early release, so some bugs are to be expected, but all in all, it looks so freaking cute already. I hope that my first Ooblet is this guy because of his little goggles. He's so cute. So we'll go ahead and start up a new game. And I think we have to first create our character. So I'll just go ahead and use my real name, April. And I love, <laughs> I love how they've written this stuff out like in game, like what's your name, buddy? Spell it out, done it. So my name is April and I'm gonna customize my little character. So right now there are limited customization features, which isn't a big deal. I mean, this is literally the first release of this game and honestly, I'm just excited to try it out. So I'm gonna try to pick what's closest to me. Is this like green hair? Oh no, it's black, okay. It looks a little bit green, like kind of olive-y. 
I don't have blonde hair. I have brown hair. I'm probably going to look just like the person in like the little trailer. But I am, um, I have a very light complexion actually. I kind of, yeah, I have a light complexion. In the summer though, I get super tan and I kind of look a little bit darker. But I have a pretty light complexion. Um, let's see. I don't really want pigtails. We're just going to go with the ponytail here. And let's get you some clothes. Oh, so we have some pre-made outfits. Cute. I didn't actually flip through these when I just tried to test it to make sure that it ran. I just kind of sped through everything. So this is my first time actually really looking through everything. Um, this sweater is a freaking vibe, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's really cute. A little, oh, that's adorable. All right, let's see. We've got flannel too. And that was the first one. Okay, so we could do like this little dress. I really like this. That's really cute. All right, we're ready to go. You look pretty good, April. I feel good. Let's go. <laughs> A giant toot. So far, you've spent all of that tooty life on the isolated Aru Island where the people are stuffy and there aren't even any ooblets. <laughs> I love this. This is so silly and creative. And it looks so good. Like the animation that they did, everything's so soft and rounded and smooth. That's why you've decided to leave. Oh, look at me. Look at me on the little boat. And I love the little guy driving the boat. I like his little yellow rain jacket. You're off to the distant shores of mainland Oob. <laughs> look, there's even pillows in this little back part of the boat. This is a pretty, like, chic boat. I like this. <laughs> I wonder how far away my island was too. A place you've only heard vague tales of. A fabled land of oddity, creativity, and... And... Ooblets! <laughs> I just took a screenshot, so ignore that. So Mayor Tinsel. Oh, biddly boy. <laughs> Are you from the Ooblet High Council? Is this a surprise inspection? Did I fail? Uh, no, I'm April from Aurora Island. Oh, then how do? Welcome to Badge Town. Oh, okay, so it's called Badge Town. I thought it would be like, well, it's the main island of Oob. I was kind of curious as to what the town was going to be called. So this is Badge Town. Welcome to Badge Town, everyone. This is Mayor Tinsel. She looks like cotton candy. Love her. My name is Tinsel. Oh, and I'm the mayor. What can I help you with? I'm looking to start a new life somewhere. Possibly here? Splenda. As in like Splenda? Like like the, the sugar substitute? <laughs> Were you looking to buy a house? Maybe invest in the local economy? Well, I have no money or skills or personal possessions. So what I'm trying to say is I have Jack. So please help me, Mayor Tinsel. <laughs> As you see, I came here on a boat. <laughs> a true entrepreneur then. I can work with this though. Yeah, I've been needing a helper for my ever-expanding mayoral task list. I see we're going to be helping the mayor with some stuff. And then there's an old abandoned farmhouse you can have if you help me with all the junk I got to do around here. Ah, we're bargaining. I see. <laughs> you in? Free houses don't just get offered every day. I'm in. What can I help with first? Fantastic. First off, wait, where are your ooblets? Well, I don't have any ooblets. They don't have ooblets where I'm from. All right. Also, where did the boat go? Oh my god, did it like crash? There's just a raft over here. Look. <laughs> There's just like a small raft and there's planks of wood and like buoys. There's this giant rubber duck. I don't know where the boat went. Well, hope they, hopefully they didn't, you know, crash and sink or something like that. That would be terrible. Um, I don't have any. They don't have ooblets where I'm from. Huh, not even an oogum. It's going to be tough to do much without ooblets here. Well, your local ooblet club will probably be able to give you one. What ooblet club are you in? Mayor, I, we don't have ooblets. I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, we don't have Ubla Cubs where I'm from either. What sort of no bother you can join one here? I'm I'm sensing some judgment from Mayor Tinsel. <laughs> I really am. She's like, who is this monster that doesn't know what an Ooblet is? Let me fetch our local club leaders. What is she? This girl is just walking back and forth on this dock like it's no one's business. Um, let me fetch our local club leaders and you can introduce yourself to some town folk in the meantime. Okay. Ah, okay. Talk to eight people. So is it just normal keys? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, She's been walking up and down this dock 
the whole time we were trying to talk to the mayor. So we're going to talk to her. Is it space bar? Yeah, space bar. Ara, digging your whole dealie you got going on. Very confused chic. Well, that's about right. I have no idea what I'm doing, Ara. I'm April. I'm new here. My fave type of person. One I don't know yet. I'm Ara. Oh, okay. That was easy. This is really cute. All right, so before we talk to, like, more people... Oh, can I pick that up? Can I pick that up? Space bar? No? Okay. I just want to take a peek around here. Look at the... It's so cute. Everything is, like, so soft and, like, rounded. The animations are really, really smooth. It's kind of what I was saying earlier. And I actually love the mechanics, too. The mechanics are really straightforward. So you're just kind of using the... Oh gosh, my keys are actually like worn out, but the A, S, D, and W to move, you know, forward, backward, left, or right. And you do have your cursor too. I haven't been able to click on anything yet, but I think we probably have to go through more of a tutorial before we can use more of the functionality, I suppose. But it actually looks like really good too, because I, I know these graphics seem maybe a little bit more simplistic. Like if we're really thinking about the main game that I play is The Sims, right? And those graphics are... I don't want to say like more advanced, but they, they're just different too. But these are really, really smooth and cute and kind of satisfying. I'm not going to lie. I'm also eyeballing these little, <gasps> these little ooblets. A fleeble. How cute. Oh my God, they're following me. They're following me around. Why are they following me? And I really want to, no, I can't click on it yet. All right. Well, that's too bad. Are these ooblets? <gasps> A dumburb. Cute. Oh, okay. So maybe they just have like initial interest in me and then they ditch me because I don't own them. I can't just like, I can't just click on them and secure them as my, my own ooblet. So that's okay. Um, all right. So where, oh, there's some more people and some more ooblets. Oh, look at the little one that he's got. This is, who's this? Trolls. <laughs> Come back, Trolls. It makes me think of Carl on freaking Walking Dead. All right. Uh, so this is a wiggle whip. Is that what that is? Or is this the wiggle whip? Oh, no, that's the clomper. Okay, that's a clomper. This is a wiggle whip. What's this over here? What are you? I don't know what you are. Your name didn't pop up. Oh, well. Ooh, that's kind of shiny. I really wish I could pick that up. I guess I just really can't do that yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what's that voice? <laughs> Let's talk to Mead. How do, dearie? My number is not up, is it? <laughs> No, you poor thing. Oh, she's like a sweet little farmer grandma. I love her. I'm April. I'm moving to the old farmhouse. <laughs> I'm good. Or, oh good, I'm me. I run the little gardening shop here, so I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Oh. That voice. I like how they don't actually speak, really. They say, like, one weird, like, oublet word, and that's it. Uh, if you have any spare produce, you can sell it to me. Oh, okay. And if anyone starts asking too many questions, tell me first. Yes, ma'am. So I'm assuming at some point, cause see these things, these objects do light up when we get near them. So I think at some point we'll probably be able to interact with this. And she says that she will buy any leftover produce. So maybe this stuff is produce here on the tree. I'm assuming we'll be able to kind of shake the tree like Animal Crossing and collect this, this weird produce that's growing on the tree. Um, actually, let's go back over here and talk with him. Milieu? <laughs> these names. I'm Milieu, I saw your boat pull in. So are you some sort of rich tourist come to buy all our postcards and novelty t-shirts? I would totally buy an Ooblet novelty t-shirt. No, I'm April. I'm looking to start a new life here. Oh, blah. What am I supposed to do with all these novelty t-shirts? I don't know, but you might want to fix your bow legs there first, my friend. You're standing a little funny. You're kind of like Tommy Pickles there. All right, so we've talked to three out of eight people. I'm going to try to kind of speed this along and talk to this little Taffy over here. Taffy do. Yes, it's true. Okay, then. I'm April. That's about right. That would be my response. Go away now. Well, then. All right. Let's talk to this nice... He looks like the um, like the KFC guy. Colonel Sanders. There we go. <laughs> His name is Pult. Howdy doody. Looking for a bun? I don't think so. I'm just moving to town. Huh. To Badge Town? Well, I'm Pult. Local Bunglebee delivery fellow. Here's a little gift from the Bunglebee company to welcome you to town. We got a bunglebee bun. Oh, I get it, because it's like a bee. And we got 10 of them. So these are nice and soft, a good source of energy, contains 40 energy. Gimme. Oh, they're the finest prepackaged tree bees in Oob. Eat bunglebee buns for a quick and easy boost to your energy and mood, probably. 
where do do we have an energy bar? Well, I guess we'll I guess we'll need energy at some point to do something. So that's kind of curious. Okay, let's talk to Rugnolia. Rugnolia, are you the research assistant I requested three years ago? <laughs> I see that uh, people make their way here quite often. No, I'm just new here. I'm April. Introductions. Okay, sure. I'm Rugnolia, and I operate the Lear the Learny, the Learnery, the Learnery. <laughs> Cute, which serves a variety of purposes too complicated to get into right now. And if you're going to be sticking around, you should have this. A grumbor? A grumbor. It looks like a book. Okay. It keeps track of all of your tasks, items, friends, and that sort of thing. How does it all do that? Science and magic and junk. <laughs> You'll figure it all out or you won't. I have no metric of your aptitude for these sorts of things. Okay, open your Grumbor with tab. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like our inventory. All right, so this is me, April. I'm level one. So we'll get experience, I'm assuming, from doing stuff. That's cool. Wishy well. I have zero wishies, so I can't do anything. But I guess at some point, maybe we could buy, like, more ooblets. Get gummies and, like, some other resources. Some blueprints, some seeds, because I know that we farm. We mainly farm in this, right? So that's cool. Okay. Uh, wait, let's go back in here, though. We have clothing, furniture, and I don't know what that's going to be. That looks like Mayor Tinsel, though, so we'll see. But here are our bumblebee buns, and that'll give us 40 energy. We have zero gummies. Stuff, friends. <laughs> oh, so here are all the people that we've met, and we can see which clubs they belong to. So those must be the Ooblet Clubs that Mayor Tinsel was mentioning when we first got here. So Taffy's been banned from all clubs. <laughs> Taffy, honey, what did you do? <laughs> and we have Ragnolia. She's in the Mimpins. And Mead, Ooblet Clubs are a little after her time. <laughs> all right. And Ara hasn't joined a club because she's an independent spirit. She strikes me as an independent spirit. He is in Peak Snubs, and Mayor Tinsel can't join a club because it wouldn't be ethical. Damn straight wouldn't be ethical. Good for you, Ooblets. All right, we don't have any. Oh, so we can have some at home and some that follow us, and they're calling them our babies. I was calling them the babies already, little Ooblet babies. All right, that's really cute. So we'll be able to keep track of our Ooblets, and I guess we'll get badges too. Okay, so complete like five Tinsel tasks. Ah, so the mayor's going to be giving us those mayoral tasks, and we'll get a badge for completing five of those right off the bat. Okay, cool. We'll even get some for ooblets for dancing. Dance battles? All right. Exploring, crafting, farming. And that's it. Okay, so these are like kind of our main things. So we'll be helping, oobleting, collecting, exploring, farming, dancing, friendship. That should be friending, I think. <laughs> and crafting. All right, cool. And then we have an almanac of ooblets oh because we've made we've met them oh cute okay so it kind of has do we have any kind of like description outside of that no that's okay maybe we'll get it as we keep going we'll have like crops and recipes and stuff like that too cool so this is really kind of our like one-stop shop to kind of keep track of all the stuff that we have going on nice thank you Ragnolia. we appreciate you all right, so we have to talk to two more people. Let's kind of go over here because I saw another person. Yep. Ooh, some smelly garbage. Smelly garbage. We don't want that. Gross. Let's talk to her. Double. Hello, Double. A customer. What can I get you? Bean juice? Spressy? I'm assuming Spressy is espresso, and if I had come to this island with any money, I would probably be getting a Spressy. Yeah. Sorry, I don't actually have any money. Okay, yeah. Not winning customer of the month so far. <laughs> excuse the heck out of me i just got here on a freaking little boat <laughs> well when you do scrounge up some money spend it here cuddle cups all oh, the cuteness in this game is unreal i'm double and i serve the best and only bean juice in town cute all right oh and we'll be able to actually go into these places too so they don't look like they're restricted at this time but we can't really do anything because we don't have money or anything like that so let's keep wandering Yep, we've got little oobs everywhere. Oh, I just love little oobs. And we have to talk to one more person. Oh, we didn't talk to Charles. We just looked at him. Hey, Charles. Charles, come back. Charles. You're standing awfully close to me. Oh, no. I think Charles doesn't like us. I was yelling at him too much. Oh, hi. I'm April and I'm new in town. I suppose you'll be wanting to know my name now, huh? 
That's okay, you can tell me when you're ready. Okay, fine, I'm Charles. I make clothes at my shop. Kibon Bon. <laughs> I shake your hand, but I don't do that. Okay, and we finished our task. Mayor Tinsel, Splenda, everyone is here now. Oh, so these are going to be the Ooblet Clubs, so we'll get to pick one. So basically, Ooblet Clubs are little social groups that each have their own themes and personalities. Okay, is this... Okay, we'll find out. <laughs> these are local Ooblet Club leaders. I thought I'd let them each give you a quick pitch to see what they're about. All right. So first off, we have Melda. We'd love to have you join Fron Buns. We're delightful. Fron Buns and Tud. <gasps> that was the little guy with the goggles. Oh, I'm already having a difficult decision. I saw there were like four of them and I'm already torn because I wanted him. Uh, the club for sweet cuties who love cute things. All right, so that's one, the Fron Buns. And then we have the Peak Snubs and Biddle. <laughs> he looks so angry. <laughs> I love his little hat. Uh, but Basil or Basil, I guess we could say. Peak Snubs, don't do pitches. You should be pitching to me. Ah, uh, message received loud and clear. The club of born leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people. And honestly, a little, you got a little bit of an eagle there, Basil. So uh, you're probably second in line already. Then we have the Mimpins, which I think one of our friends, one of our neighbors that we just met is in Mimpins. Vidion? Vidion. I don't really know what to say about Mimpins or what to do with my hands. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I'm like raising my hands up. The club for clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. And you would get side key. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. I mean, I'm really terrible with social interaction. So that's, that's a consideration. And then we have one more. Maybe there's another one after this. I don't really know, but this is outgrid. I see it's kind of a playoff of like off the grid because outdoorsy. I see you. If you like adventure, the outdoors, and nature, you should join me at Moss Sprouts, the club for woodsy outdoorsy types who love a good adventure, and you will get Shrumbo. Oh, man. Shrumbo is, like, real cute. Oh, okay, and that's all of them. So we have Frum Buns, Peak Snubs, Mimpins, and Moss Sprouts. So I'm torn between Moss Sprouts and Mimpins. I think, mainly because I love that this guy wants to be an astronaut of some kind and that we get little side key he just looks like a little toy and I love him which actually wait a minute though his shirt has oops I'm scrolling too much his shirt has shrumbo on it from moss sprouts that's kind of interesting I don't know well actually you know what I really liked shrumbo I liked the little shroom but I really do like side key and I feel like this is definitely me um I don't know about clever but um I'm not very good with social interaction so these would probably be my peeps so we're gonna join the mimpins and I also like the fact that he supports the moss sprouts so you know what I feel connected still I feel like we're kind of in both clubs even though we're not so we're gonna join the mimpins yeah or no yeah I didn't anticipate you'd pick Mimpins, but hopefully you'll be satisfied with your choice. Oh, Vidion, I'm sure I will be. God, I really like her outfit. I want her outfit. Outgrid, right? That's her name. I've chosen an ooblet for you that I've predicted will be an acceptable companion. We get an ooblet. Yay, we got side key. <laughs> Come here, babies. Come here, little babies. I'm your mom now. Oh, I love you. Oh, you two look like a perfect match. We are. Thank you, Mary Tinsel. Bye, everyone. Bye, little oobs. Now that you've got an ooblet, you should try getting into a dance-off. Ah, okay. Ooblets are mysterious creatures, and they apparently love dancing. It's very important to them. <laughs> All we can do is support their interests and set up elaborate, contrived, competitive dance scenarios for them to show off in. You'll be amazed at the sort of conflicts that get resolved through the medium of dance. Oh, here comes a worthy competitor to let you practice. All right. Oh, lump stump. <laughs> well, we can't actually reject this, um, this dance competition because this is going to be our little tutorial. So let's go ahead and do our little dance battle tutorial with lump stump. Here's where you can pick which ooblets you want to dance. You only have one so far, so it's an easy choice. That's true. So lump, chomp, lump stump challenges you to a dance battle. And we will choose side key. All right, we're ready to go. Oh, 
my god. This is like a true dance battle. All right, so each turn you can draw random dance moves for you to choose from. All right, so these are the dance moves down here. You have some basic moves that will always be available. All right. Cool. So I guess those will be like the white cards, whereas the colored ones are kind of special ones. Each ooblet also has its own unique move. Okay, so that's side key's unique move, the, the finite loop. <laughs> With some experience, they can learn new moves. Moves cost beats, and you get fresh beats to use every turn. All right, so our beats are down here. To start with, you'll draw four moves and have three beats per turn. Okay. Some moves increase your points, lower your opponents, or do other junk. <laughs> I freaking love this. This is so funny. The goal is to get to this number of points before your opponent. So we're trying to get to 20 points. We have three beats to start off with. And these are going to be our cards. Okay. Oh, so it's our turn. So we can either do like our special move here, which will play the next move twice. How do we know? So this one doesn't tell us how many points we would get from it, his special move, but these do. So this one is gain one hype, increases the power of dance moves. Oh, so we'll probably get more points for it. It costs two beats, and this one add a move to your hand and earn four points. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead. Since this is the tutorial, we're going to earn four points, and we're going to perform. Look at him go. Look at him shaking, shaking his little side key. And I love how all the other ooblets around here are dancing. <laughs> this is so cute. All right, so we got four points for that. All right, cool. And how about we do... You know what? We'll just end our turn. We'll, we'll let little Lump Stump do his little twizzle sizzle. So he earned one point. And now we can gain a beat. It costs zero beats. Oh, so we can gain a beat and it costs zero. So that's good. So we didn't have to spend anything to get an extra beat. So now we have four. Nice. I see this. I'm not very good at these kinds of games. By the way, this kind of is similar to like Pokemon battles in my head. And I sucked at those. So we're going to do our best here. Uh, we can steal three points, but he doesn't even have three points to steal. So we're just going to earn another four. Go Psyche. Go Psyche. Get it. And we'll just end our turn again. We'll let little Lump Stump go, do his little twizzle sizzle. I have a feeling that we can't really lose this because it's the tutorial, but we'll see. I, I might suck that much. Like, we'll kind of see. Oh, wow. So earn seven points from the flip floss. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes, Sidekey. Yes, Sidekey. Head do it. Head do it. All right. And let's go ahead and gain a beat because otherwise we can't do anything else. We might actually be able to do another card here. No, we'll just end our turn. We're almost there anyway. We're, we're definitely going to win. He can't earn that many points in the next, like, two turns. Oh, well, that, that, I stand corrected. He gained more than I thought. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Ooh. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do the finite loop, because that'll actually perform our next move twice, and that way we'll gain double points when we do this one. Earn four points. We'll actually get eight points. Booyah! We're going to get to 20 before you, I think. Oh, close. We're at 19. Ah, oh, there we go! There's 20. All right, cool. And we win! <laughs> These are so adorable. So Psyche earned 40 XP. So he'll level up as he does more dance battles. Got it. Get a seed from Lump Stump. <gasps> oh, are we going to be able to grow our own Lump Stump? Good job, little Lump Stump. Oh, good job, little Lump Stump. Wow, it's, it's like I've written the game. For the love of God, I didn't know I was going to say that. You did great. out a seed okay cool lump stump seed plant me to grow a new friend oh we can we can grow our own little lump stump easy peasy anywho you should head to your farmhouse now and get settled in so that's really neat so if we do other battles like that essentially we're not trying to capture them we're trying to get a seed from them so we can grow our own and our next task is to meet tinsel at the farmhouse so let's go ahead and do that Looks like we're getting little directional arrows to show us where to go. And look, side keys following us around. Can we do anything with this stuff yet? No, no, not yet. I guess we're kind of still in the tutorial phase, which, you know, I think is actually totally fine. I just have to remember to come back to these spots to get these things that I want because I am crazy about collecting things in games. I can't leave things alone. Oh, I know we're supposed to go left, but let's... Oh, we can't go yet. All right, so we can't really go running off yet. But I think maybe after this, we'll be able to go up there and check it out. Because, is that a map? 
that's exactly what I was going to look for. Okay, so this is a map. So right now we're down here, it seems, like down here, because this is the dock and the town center. Yeah, so if we go up those stairs, there's like an entire neighborhood back here. I'm assuming this is where, you know, everyone lives all the way back here. There's like a little tree house. There's a hot air balloon. I know I saw it in the, um, the trailer, but we'll have to go see that at some point. And there's like a little, kind of looks like a lighthouse, but it's not in the water. So, okay, cool. So that's a map. So we can kind of come back to that if we ever need it. But let's go ahead, go ahead and go to the farmhouse. Oh, our farmhouse is not looking too hot. It's just like leaking water out of nowhere. House! <laughs> House, Mayor Tinsel says. Thank you for pointing that out. It's not much right now, but what do you expect for a free house? I guess that's that's pretty fair. I'm sure you'll be able to fix it up and make it real pretty. Maybe add some bunting. Bunting always helps. You got it. Wow, what a junkyard. I mean, a very unique property with a lot of potential. Mead, you might want to hold your tongue. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that voice? It's my favorite so far. I brought you a couple of things to get you started with your farm. Oh, sweetie beady seed. A sweet root vegetable which can be used to create fructus. Takes three days to grow, so we got three of them. All right. A basic scraper. I'm assuming that's for us to, like, prepare the land for our farm. Give it a shot. Just dig deeper than six feet down anywhere around here okay we can do that use the arrow keys to choose different items in your hotbar select the dirt scraper all right ah there we go press q to enable farming mode this will help you select the land you want to work on Ooh, can we do it over here i like this space oh no i guess not all right and then press the space bar to use the dirt scraper on the piece of land highlighted in the viewfinder thing <laughs> these are great these are really funny here so we'll just do like three in a row oh and it looks like that's a cost of five energy which we haven't seen yet okay well let's go ahead and plant our seeds so now we have the seeds in hand with our hot bar and we're still in farming mode oh okay so that's easy to select you're just using the w and s keys to go back and forth all right so we'll go ahead and plant one sweetie beady two sweetie beaties and three sweetie beaties. <laughs> Splenda. Now you just need to water it. Here's a dribbly can you can use. A dribbly can. A basic dribbler. Excellent. Oh, oh, she's off. She's on a mission. Fill it up with water from the tap here and then use it to water your seeds. Excellent. Love that for us. Okay, so we have our dribbly can. Let's hustle on over here. Space bar for fill. Oh, there's our little water meter. Cool. Press Q to re-enter farming mode in order to water your crops. Excellent. Okay. Q. Oh my god, where are our crops? Oh wait, they're right in front of me. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I thought they disappeared. I was going to be really sad. And this costs one energy as well. I really hope we can start tracking that soon because I don't know how much energy we have. But we'll go ahead and water it. So it's going to take three days for it to blossom, bloom, sprout, whatever. So this one's dry. We'll go ahead and water it. And our last one. Perfect. You got it. Now all you have to do is water the crops each day and harvest them once they're fully grown. You're already a pro at farming. Maybe semi-pro. You'll improve. <laughs> Anywho, you must be pretty tired, so go get some rest and I'll check in on you tomorrow morning. Cute. Bye, little oobs. <laughs> Me and uh, side key are just gonna like hang and hang out. There you are, side key. Oh, and it's actually nighttime now too. All right, well, it's time for us to go to sleep. I guess we kind of have to. Let's go inside of our house. Let's see how terrible it is on the inside. It's not bad. And it looks like we have a little place to cook. We did see that stuff about like recipes. So Button Boy, Borgus, and Muzz. All right, so some of those things, maybe like the harvestables that we were looking at on the trees are things that we can use towards some of these recipes. And these are kind of blanked out, so we actually can't, oh, we don't know it. So we know these three right off the bat. Okay, that's cool. So I don't know where we're going to find all this stuff, but I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. All right, so we do have a little place to cook. I'm assuming that that will give us, like, those things will give us more energy than maybe some of the harvestables alone. And then we have this little briefcase. Oh, so it's just a little old luggage, like, storage place for us. So you know what we'll do? 
I do want to plant our little ooblet seed, so I'm not going to take it out, but let's go ahead and deposit our buggle, bunglebee bun. I'm going to have so much trouble saying the names of these things. We'll go ahead and put that in our luggage for now. Why not? I guess we don't really need it because <laughs> we haven't been able to track our energy yet. And these seem to be really big, like contains 40 energy. I, I feel like this is a special treat. And the stuff that'll come from the trees won't give us as much energy. That's just my feeling. I don't really know. That seems to be kind of like a thing, even in games like Animal Crossing and some other games where if you find harvestables, they're not as helpful in replenishing energy, health, whatever the case may be, as the treats that you can buy from vendors. And it seems as though Polt will sell us these things for gummies in the future. And I don't know how we get gummies. I'm trying to learn the currency of an entirely different economy. So bear with me. <laughs> okay, well, we're actually going to go to sleep now. So I feel like this is a good place to kind of cut this off for right now. So this is a great introduction to Ooblets. It seems as though we're going to be farming things. And I know that the town is going to become more expansive as different content is released because to reiterate, again, this is early release. So the map is kind of small right now. The creators have kind of said that but there seems to be tons to do there's a lot of things to interact with hopefully the next morning because it seems as though we're kind of on a day system here we'll be able to explore the town a little bit more and maybe start on some tasks that would be kind of exciting and we're gonna let a little side key rest we already have an ooblet so even in the tutorial kind of mode here the beginner stuff you get an ooblet right off the bat and this seems really, really cute. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. I know I typically do Sims content, but I was really excited about this game because it looked so adorable and it's right up my alley and I really enjoyed it. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to see some more Ooblets content, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.